right, next up is dependent events. So it, think of what it means to be dependent on somebody. You're reliant on what they're giving you, what they've done for you already. So event A occurring affects the probability of event B. Usually you'll see the words without replacing. Notice that's a key word that we're going to be looking for in these problems. We're still going to see the word and, but it's up to you to determine if it's dependent. Okay. And when we work on it, we're going to work on this conditional probability. Okay, This conditional probability here, this line, means given A happened. And that's going to be your new total. Okay, so that line tells me given A happened, and we're going to use that as our new total in our denominator here. So let's continue on and look at some more examples. All right, so a jar contains three red, five green, two blue, six yellow marbles. Looks familiar. We just did a similar example. So there's 16 total marbles in our jar. Okay, so a marble is chosen at random. A second marble is chosen without replacing it. So again, that's the key word you have to look for when it comes to independent or dependent. This is dependent. What is the probability of choosing a green and choosing a yellow marble? So the way that this would be written mathematically is um, we would say the probability of green and yellow and that would be written as the probability of green times the probability of yellow given green happened. Okay, so let's first work with the probability of green. Okay. So the probability of green is 5 out of 16. Again, that word and is what tells us that we're multiplying. Okay. And then we want the probability of yellow. Okay. But when it says without replacing, that clues us in we're talking about dependent events. So given green happened, so I chose a green out. If I do not put that green marble back in my jar, what is my new total of marbles? 15, okay? That's the given green happened part, okay? I picked a green and I kept it. So now there's 15 marbles. Out of those 15 marbles now, how many are yellow? Still six. And we're still going to multiply across the top, the numerator. Multiply across the bottom, the denominator. And we're still going to simplify. And I just did that in my head really quickly. One eighth. One eighth. An aquarium of six male goldfish and four female goldfish. You randomly select a fish from the tank and you do not replace it. And then randomly select a second fish. What is the probability that both fish are male? All right. So again, we see this. Um, you do not replace it. We need a total number of fishes. Six plus four is ten. So you randomly select a fish, put it back, or you don't put it back and pick another. What is the probability that both fish are male? So the first time you dip your little um, fish net into the tank, you have a 6 out of 10 chance that they're male. Okay. Well, then you take that fish and you put it in a different tank. So your aquarium now has nine fish to choose from. Okay, it said without 
replacing it. So out of those nine fish, how many are male? Hopefully you answered five. I can't have six male anymore because I took one out and moved it. So not only do I subtract from my total population, I subtract from how many males I also have there. So again, we'll multiply. So 30 over 90, that's 3 over 9, which is 1 third. A random sample of parts coming off a machine is done by an inspector. He found that 5 out of 100 parts are bad on average. If we're doing a sample, what is the probability he picks a bad part and then picks another bad part um, if he doesn't replace the first. So again, we see doesn't replace, so that's dependent. So what is the probability he picks a bad part? So the first time he goes to pick, the first time he goes to pick, he has a five out of 100 chance of being wrong. Okay, picking a bad part. And that is what tells us to multiply. Okay. He picks another bad part if he doesn't replace it. Well, if I picked a bad part and I don't replace it, I have 99 parts left in my sample, left off of my machine. If I keep a bad part, I have four more to choose from. So this is... 20 over 990, 9,090, right? Because there's two zeros. Yeah, 9,900. So that's 2 over 990, which is 1 over 495. Tune into the next video to determine what makes what makes two events independent. How can we test for independency?